y'all. APT Jamie here. And today we're going to do a 3D pumpkin face. <laughs> so I have this Ashland uh, pumpkin, hollowback pumpkin from Michael's that I picked up on clearance way back in January. Mm-hmm. It was like 80 or 90 percent off. Okay. So anyway, a friend of mine, Golda, had done a, uh, a had created a pumpkin face thing many years ago, and uh, we, we being me and Alice, saw it at a um, I don't know a little soiree she had over at her shop last year. It's been at least a year ago, y'all. And uh, I thought, oh, I want to make one of those because I just love it. Well, mine's not like hers, okay? Golda's, she she formed her air dry clay on, I think it was air dry clay, on her actual pumpkin, a solid pumpkin at that. A faux pumpkin, not real one, y'all. Uh-uh. They, they deteriorate. Anyways, uh, and she had arms and legs on hers. Well, I'm like, no. No, uh, you know I gotta go my own way. I gotta put my own spin on it. I want one, but I gotta do it my own, my own stinking way. So I said, well, I'll just make polymer clay face pieces to adhere to my pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. So that's what we're doing. Um, first, we're making our uh, clay pieces that we're going to stick on our pumpkin. And right now, I'm making the nose. Now, I wanted a big honking nose. That's what I wanted. That's what I got. <laughs> now, it has been a long time since I've actually uh, sculpted, especially facial features. And when I say long time, I was probably a child last time I, I did it. Okay? Just throwing that out there. And uh, I don't know, this video, uh, does it matter how long my videos are? Do y'all have to always harass me about the length of my videos? Quit it. It's as long as it is. Okay? Portions have been sped at for your viewing pleasure and my voiceover ease. So I'm just using very inexpensive aluminum foil, aluminum foil and Sculpty Air Dry Clay. Oh, speaking of, there's a list of ingredients in the description box below. Click on the phrase, show more, to see more information. Okay? Including a list of the ingredients. Okay. So any hoots, I... Uh, made a roughish noses with the aluminum foils. I did use a little bit of washi tape, washi tape to hold a couple pieces together because I'm kind of kind of figuring it out as I'm going along, y'all. Y'all know how I am. So, uh, and because this is polymer clay and I do want a big honking nose that I got, I thought I better put some wire in that nose so I can string it through my hollow bat pumpkin. So, um, you know, because it might just be too heavy and my, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't necessary, but it's done. So, it's done. So, I'm just forming around uh, the, my Sculpty and I'm trying to keep the back of it flat. <laughs> Kind of worked, and I want nostrils because it's a big honking nose, y'all. You see how big it is in my hand right there, okay? That's a regular, normal size hand, not too small, not too large, feminine, normal hand, okay? Okay. Now I will mess around and work on this a while, and uh, at some point I will try to get some of my fingerprints out because evidently I have really deep fingerprints and they just show up on everything. So we're just going to sculpt, 
sculpt our nose and we we did it over aluminum foil because we don't want sculpty that thick y'all i don't know that it would ever even bake correctly because this is a baking kind of polymer clay and you do need to follow the instructions on your your polymer clay now if i was to do this pumpkin thing again which i probably won't but if i was i might would consider doing air dry clay although i'm very pleased with the outcome okay i will tell you in advance i'm not that happy with the mouth and i could have redid it but you know it's perfect for this feller and this is a feller this is a feller pumpkin a 3d feller pumpkin face okay he does not have a name now that i'm thinking about it other than feller <laughs> feller the feller pumpkin man so um <clears throat> excuse me y'all frogs in the air frogs in my throat it's a froggy kind of day <sighs> any hoots forming it around messing around ad nauseum now we got eyes to make and we got a mouth to make okay and really i did i did speed it up hang on a second y'all gotta clear that frog away hang on <clears throat> y'all probably enjoyed that little bit of silence any hoots any hoots any hoots any hoots um i did get an unusual big honking nose which is exactly what i wanted it's like i can't believe it happened it's perfect i really thought i'd sped this up way more i guess we sped it up as much as we did anyway as i said this is a hollow back pumpkin and uh in another week or two i don't know coming up we'll do the back oh we'll do the back y'all month long october projects so i wanted i uh, got these uh, eyeballs I, I don't know where i got them from y'all but you can bet i didn't pay much they's probably on clearance i'm thinking they're from michael's but i i don't know they could be dollar tree i truly don't know it came with two pairs of eyes in the package so these are in there all the same i thought well we're gonna make an eyelid and then i thought well i can't put the plastic in the oven so i need to make like a uh a, a, a saddle looking short sort of shape to um put my upper eyelid on and then i thought you know we're gonna need bottom eyelids too so we're, we're gonna do some bottom eyelids too and they are not exactly the same they's close enough and they is perfect okay i kind of make them similar maybe i should have made them way dissimilar oh you know what you could do i was and i thought about this afterwards okay but i'm not gonna make another pumpkin not gonna do it not gonna do it you can make standard uh creepy face you know with with the triangle eyes and the jagged jagged teeth oh wouldn't it have been funny if this had had teeth on it oh i might have to keep an eye out oh no i'm not gonna make another one but if you could buy some of them faux teeth you know or even when those pacifiers they have with the baby with the little billy buck teeth thing that would be funny that'd be cute be so cute now this uh did take um probably about a week to do because you know it's a lot of drying time now granted i, I was able to bake this because it's polymer clay so i was able to bake the uh the the facial features initially but i had to paint on the pumpkin and blend it in and this that and the other that we will get to eventually we're not even 10 minutes in the video yet y'all so just cool your heels okay chillax do a little chillaxing over there so i'm peeling that back off and i'm putting the bottom uh bottom lids oh we didn't do the bottoms yet we're doing the mouth because it was after this that i thought i wanted bottoms bottom lids wrinkly so uh like i said i'm not that happy with my mouth but it is perfect for this feller okay okay so anyways 
So we're just going to smoosh that all up and... <coughs> Sorry. Goodness gracious. Next thing you know, I'll be sneezing or... One of the dogs would be barking or somebody be doing something. So, uh, just forming our lips along. And uh, the clay is kind of thinnish on here. I wouldn't say it's even a quarter of an inch thick, y'all. It's probably not. Maybe in some places. Probably in some places. Love that nose. Love that. I just love this feller. We well, saw a thumbnail, right? Maybe. Okay. Oh, and there will be a special photo montage at the end. Special. Because I'm so special, y'all. This is where I'm like, I need bottom eyelids. Need some bottom eyelids. So I thought I'd be clever and kind of measure out my, my clay so I could get kind of about the same amount. Now I want to be droopy. Droop. So, those fingerprints of mine, y'all. <laughs> See, now they're kind of droopy looking. Y'all are so happy. Did I tell you that? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'll tell you. Probably some more, even. How happy I am. So, I've ease that off one of them kind of cracked and I'm like oh it's perfect no worries yes I could have redone it could have done lots of things but there we go alright now they're all baked and because I have such strong fingerprints <laughs> y'all I just I don't know maybe I don't know maybe everybody's just like that but mine's just like fingerprint girl so we're taking our sanding block and then I've got a little piece of uh, sandpaper over there and I'm trying to sand away uh, most of the fingerprint. Yeah, I did, I did pretty good. And that's a damp, wet baby wipe, whatever. And I'm wiping off the dust because, you know, you don't want this loose dust on there because it's still got painted, y'all. And so we're just going to do that for... So I said I have a few other uh, october -y, uh, projects. Oh, I'm doing some underpainting, y'all. This is purely underpainting. Does it make a difference in the end? I'm not sure because it was on there and now we just will never know, will we? I think it makes a difference. So I'm trying to emphasize uh, the cracks and the wrinkles and not cracks, the, the crevices and so on and so forth and really I should have sped this up some more but now we're in the vo voiceover portion and you know if I try to speed it up now that's just really going to mess things up and I have enough audio issues as it is just using craft paint y'all because I wanted varying um, I don't want an overall total same color everywhere okay now yes I know pumpkins in general in general the plain orange pumpkins are pretty much the same stinking color all over but I'm special and you know all my stuff has to be more specialer so that's what we're doing okay Okay, how's how's our voiceover and our time thing? It's 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 pretty close, y'all. It'd be pretty close. So that little handle on the back came in pretty handy because I used it for a handle. And that little handle being that little piece of wire that ended up really not being necessary. Now because I did make such a honking big nose, it did want to tump forward. Just fair warning, because it's a hollow back, so there's, you know. But um, I added weight in there when we do that part in a week or two or soonish. I don't know. Keep an eye on my channel, y'all. You won't want to miss it. Oh, just saying, right? 
Yeah, pretty sure about that. So now we're going in with some light color. And this one, I don't know, it's like mustard yellow or something. I'm not going to talk again about how I could have sped it up more. Oh, did I say? I know I said. I know I said it, but I'm going to say it again. You do want to say stay for the special, more special or photo montage at the, yeah. Just saying, because I know you love my photo montages. They're the bestest ever, anywhere. Just saying. That's our lips. Get them all painted up there. <sighs> oh my. So, I'm getting a little buzzing in my ear. I hope y'all not getting that buzzing thing. Where's that buzzing coming from? Is there a bee in my bonnet? Move that part over there. Oh, that helped. That helped. So I've already marked for where I want my eyes and my nose and my mouth. The straight line is the mouth. So, uh, because I put that thing on the back, now i got to poke a hoe in here. And this is real easy to poke a hoe in, just, just so you know, to get my Loire in there. Okay? Because I, you know, my plan was to secure it on the inside to help keep it from falling off and I don't know why I thought it was going to fall off but it's not going to fall off darn sure not going to fall off now so there we go we're getting our wire on the inside now we're going to have to um, and I, I used uh, crochet cotton thread and uh, that didn't work so well so I ended up using wire and I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording and blah 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 ad nauseum so Here's our thread. And I did the same thing with the wire. Just just poked it through there and ran it through there. And I should have. <laughs> should have put some gel medium on the back of that while I was trying to stick it on. Because that would have helped it. But no. And it's so hard to see inside the back of this pumpkin, y'all. So don't feel like you're getting gypped on seeing anything. Because it's like, uh, you know spray painted black in there so yeah now we're going to put the gel medium on there only now we have to try to shove it up underneath the nose it works this I let dry over you know actually I, I would say over weekend but I think I let it dry over three days so you know humidity and what knowledge stuff so that gel can be a gooey mess when you're wiping it off a nose <laughs> if you catch my drift and if you don't catch my drift think about it for a minute I'm wiping a nose I'm wiping a big hawking nose I mean this thing is like massive y'all okay now what oh now we're going to glue our eyeballs on Okay, because the eyeballs go under the eyelids. Okay, get your anatomy together, people. Uh, oh, I'm happy with these eyeballs. I gave a set to Alice. Because, you know, she's got pumpkin, too. <laughs> she needs some eyeballs. <coughs> oh, and I did suggest that she use the... Um, Air dry clay. I don't know what she's going to do, though. She's going to do whatever she wants to do. Now, see, no matter how flat I would have made the backs, they would not have been flat because, you know, a pumpkin's got those crevices on them. So, we'll have to deal with that when we get to that point. I'm like, yeah, I want his mouth crooked, just a little crooked. And I think if I'd have set it just a way, a little further away, it would have been funnier, too. But that's okay. Y'all, I take my art very seriously. Truly, I do. But there's no reason why you cannot have fun and enjoy what you're doing. It doesn't have to be a chore because the whole point of it is to be fun. And if it's a chore, I, I don't know what to tell you. 
You're trying to make somebody else happy, I'm guessing. I don't know. So, because those parts are going to be visible, I wanted to paint them black, okay? Because the eyelid didn't go all the way around. Not a typical eyelid, y'all. Just remember, this is kind of a fantasy piece. So, now I've got some uh, paper clay. It's my favorite brand, y'all. Whatever that brand is in the black package, okay? It's my favorite. Um, and we're going to tuck that in. Because I can't put it in the oven anymore now, y'all. We're going to tuck that in under, underneath, uh, in all the crevices. All the crevices. Oh, I got evidently had a very important phone call. <laughs> Texting. Very, very important stuff, y'all. And I've got a paintbrush there with uh, some water on it. And I'm just smooshing it under there. And again, the fingerprints. So, um... This is why I said that nose is not coming off. <laughs> it's not only on there with gel medium, but now it's got uh, some paper clay as well. And we do this all over, all around, all the things. Uh, I've not glued on the eyelids yet. I don't know when I do them. I, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know, even know why I didn't put them on there yet. I don't know. I don't remember. You know, it's been like a week or I don't know how long it's been since I did this project. No, it's only only been about a week. And I'm putting him just a little bit of a goatee-ish kind of thing under his bottom lip because I thought it looked good. I liked it. it so I put it. Now we're going to put his um, eyelids on. Now, did I match these back up? No. No, I didn't. But they are perfect. Trust me on that, y'all. I probably let the nose and the mouth dry overnight. No, because I let it dry over weekend. Well, I don't know, people. <sighs> Maybe it took longer than a week. Now, I don't even know. But it wasn't that hard. It's not that hard of a project to do, y'all. I could see where it would be fun to do this with air dry clay with the little kid. This is not a kid channel. It's adult channel. Because I use adult pro, uh, products and stuff. Okay, so now I'm just clearing away some of the excess gel. Because we'll have to shove clay in there later. <laughs> So remove the excess gel because I don't want big globbers all over the all over this feller's face. At the time, I didn't know it was feller. He was looking fellerish, but I still wasn't sure. So I'm sure now. So there we go, tucking in, tucking in the stuff as we glue on the eyelids. We're gonna get back to painting any day now, probably. That's my suspicion anyway. Oh, I wiggled it. Now I got to start almost all over. And you got to kind of keep it laid down because when you tump it up, some, that stuff kind of wants to slide because it, it is made out of polymer clay and y'all know that is just a little, does have some weight to it. Okay. So now we're painting. And um, I did seal up the paper clay with um Matte medium, y'all didn't see that part because paper clay will absorb a lot of uh, paint. And you can see the color variation on my oranges and my yellows and all that colors that I have going on here. It's a bit of a difference. So we've got to play around, and it's a push and a pull situation when you're painting. Okay, especially when you're painting faces, kind of thing. You got to add dark, and then you got to add light, and then you got to add dark, and then you got to add light. You know, it's not quite the same when you're doing oil paints, though. I haven't oil painted in years. It's something I used to do with my mom. Anywho, so, uh huh. His features are looking a little monotonish, and I am trying to keep paint off my eyeballs there, y'all. I almost totally succeeded. <laughs> it's a 
little brush that I'd like. I'm just going to brush all over this pumpkin with this little teeny tiny brush. But I have sped this part up even more faster. And I've got some brown there. And I'm tucking in brown here and there to uh, darken the spots on a face that would be normally, naturally darker. Okay? Like under the nose, between the nose and the upper lip and the crevice of the lip and under his wrinkled uh, bottom lids, you know, that are so droopy and yeah, you can still see, you know, divots and davits and it's all perfect, y'all. Perfect. Now we're going to put a little white on there. Let's see if we can put a little highlight on these highlighty spots. <coughs> Excuse me, frogs come back. Frogs. How we doing? We're doing okay. We only got about three hours left in this uh, recorded video. Look how cute he's looking. Ah, ah, ah. I just, ah, just love you. Oh. <coughs> I do. I like him. <laughs> oh. Of course, you could paint eyeballs. You don't have to uh, use store-bought eyeballs. Really get out. So, I won't. I want to too. I collected stuff because I'm like, you know, as I saw stuff, I collected it for this for this particular project. Okay, y'all know I like to do that. Well, in this case, because it was going to be a long time before I got to it, I stored my uh, project stuff in uh, plastic shopping bags. Okay, and I hung them over there in the, uh, my studio restroom. Okay, that's where I put them. They'd all be together. And I know it's hard for y'all to see, but I've really kind of got to have him looking at me. Sort of. Okay. I thought about moving my camera on the side, and I thought, no, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just too lazy for that, y'all. Oh, that'd be a good channel name. Lazy, the Lazy Crafter. Huh. Well, if you haven't named your channel yet, there she, there she goes. Uh, well, maybe there's already one. I don't know. I haven't looked. I'm like, yeah, I'm just digging him so much. Let's just get the big brush and paint this whole pumpkin so that it all looks more uniformer like it's supposed to be all this, this way and nobody's wearing special makeup. Guy. Guy. So there we go. Getting it. Doing it. I don't know what I don't know what the next segment is. I'm just so stinking happy. Doing it. Oh, it's eyelash time. I decided uh, this pumpkin needed eyelashes. Now I thought about painting them on, and I thought, no, nope, I got one better. They sell uh, faux eyelashes at the faux eyelash store, also known as Dollar Tree. That's where most of Okay, another video. So I got, I, they had two of the same sets, and I went ahead and got two because I thought, well, I can put one on top and one on the bottom. And as it turned out, one pair barely fit across the top eyelid. So it's only got upper eyelid, uh, upper eyelids, upper eyelashes. And I am using some art glitter glue. Now, this is, they are sticky, but you know, I don't trust stickers. You're supposed to put eyelashes on with eyelash glue, you know, that's good, That's good. not necessarily good, but it's okay to put on your skin, so. But I, I didn't get that kind, because I'm like, no, this is not really going on real skin. So anyway, putting our eyelashes on, they're so cute. Now, do they show up at a distance? Probably not, but that doesn't matter. Made me happy. That's what gets. So, using my tweezers, because this one, this eyelid over here is kind of really bumpy and raggedy. <laughs> Gives him character. Yes, look at that. <laughs> now I decided I needed to paint that stem because I did not like the color of it. So I just got out some, I think it's olive green, y'all. And we're just going to paint all over that stem. 
which theoretically you can't really even see after we stick the leaves on there because he's going to get a topper. You know, think of a feller that's just got a few sprigs of hair sticking out the top. Okay? Oh, we're going to make some eye browns. So we got uh, this bow flower from the Dollar Tree. And uh, the leaves looked similar to what a uh, pumpkin leaf supposed to look like, I guess. I don't I don't know, y'all. It matched the other leaf, the big leaves I had. So so we are going to glue these together. Now I've already tried to glue these kind of silk flowers together and I know art glitter glue, tacky glue doesn't work on them, so we're using Fabrifix. And it doesn't really want to stick. It just doesn't. So I'm clamping it together. And uh, we're putting three three um, leaves together. And these is, these is going to be eye browns. Okay? You know, that hairy space above your eyeball. These are eye browns. And while those are there drying, we're going to go ahead and put on our big leaf on our little top notch there. It could be a man bun, y'all. I didn't even think about that. Um, again, I know that that's a, this silk flower is not silk, y'all. Don't be confused. This is real cheap Dollar Tree flower stuff. And I had to use some washi tape on there to more or less see how it was going to look. Because I wasn't even sure I wanted to put them on there. My husband suggested sticks. And I did think about that. But I like the leaves too much to even try sticks. But sticks might have been really cute too. Just saying. So we've got one eye, eye, uh, eye brown on there. Now we're going to put the other one. Okay. And kind of hold it for a minute. Looking okay. Yeah, looking okay for me. Looking okay for me. So, how's our time going? Oh, it's awful close, y'all. So, messing with it and holding it. And I'm like, you know, I want bushier eyebrows. So by this time, I know this is a feller pumpkin. Oh, and I had a thir an extra uh, a leftover leaf actually I probably have another leftover leaf somewhere anyway yeah bushier put put another one on there okay let's do it get ready y'all we're getting close to the end but stay for the special photo montage in not the normal photo montage the special one okay photo montage <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions. And if you've not subscribed, I invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Okay? If they still have notifications, you can click the bell if you have your YouTube account set up to get notifications. Although they don't send emails anymore. Go figure. Look how cute! Oh, I love him. I've got books piled in the back because he does want to up for it. Oh, special photo montage. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching and happy all.